We're going oh live. It's all good. I, I've done the entire thing live before because it was so last minute. Oh, We're, live. Live. We're live. <laughs> Finally. Oh. Hello, everybody. Sorry for all the chaos. There's been issues with tech because of the Fae have got involved. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, welcome to uh, Courts of the Shadow Fae. Hey, I'm so happy now. <laughs> um, so, this is going to be a uh, D and D five E adventure set in the world of Midgard, uh, which is from Cobalt Press. And you should check out Cobalt Press and their stuff. It's awesome. Good job. I'm I'm not paid to say that. I'm just a massive fan. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm Tim. Uh, I'm going to be the DM for this evening. Uh, and let's go around and introduce our players this evening. So let's start with Jen. Oh, oh hello. Hi, uh, I'm Jen. I'm randomly Jen on Twitter. That's what that's called, Twitter. Uh, the J-E-N-N and randomly generated around most of the rest of the internet. And for this beautiful adventure, I will be playing Tatiana. The uh, elf marked mystic of Baba Yaga, bard of Greenleaf College. Hello. Nice. It's going to be a good time. Good time, yes. Good All time. good. No problem. All good. No problems. No problems. Next up, let's go to Val. Hey, that's me. I'm Matthew Foreman in the guise of Val. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. This is this is some heavy disguise self. It's fine. Hi everybody, I'm Val. I'm the Nettie Niffler on Twitter. I use she her pronouns and tonight I am playing Sitali, uh, who also uses she her pronouns and is a blood sister wizard of the school of void magic. So like super on brand. I'm really excited about this. Reckon. Next. Pixie. Hi. I'm Trin Pixie, and I am playing Lath Lairol. I'm not even trying to do the last name at this point. Um, pronounce they, them. Um, and uh, Lath, Lath is a Shadow Fae Warlock Doom cro Croaker. English, gosh. And Listen, you know, Tim asked me who I was, and I was like, who am I? Yep. <laughs> Yep. So if you uh, want to find me, you can find me on Twitter at Torn Pixie Twitch and otherwise find me on Twitch at. Wait, brain, please don't do this. <laughs> the brain fog is hard Torn today. Torn Pixie. Torn Pixie. Well, it was saying Twitch and then saying Twitch again, I think. We're all here. Don't worry. We're all here. We're all alive. We're all mad. That's what yes. counts. <laughs> Right, and also massive thanks to Jesse for doing last minute modding and stuff because I live in a haunted place where the wireling is crap and I need to kill my laptop, but that's not good. Right, let's dive into Midgard. <laughs> so it is late November, early December. The festivals of beer are over. The trade fairs have packed up and left the city of Zorbeck. And the city now sits in wait for the first frosts and the cool winds of winter to come. The city, though, is not quiet. Before the frost came, came the Fae. They have taken, o they have taken over. They've been disrupting daily life with demands on the populations, ignoring the existing governments and subjecting those in authority to embarrassing public displays. Edicts from the Queen of Night and Magic are announced through the city by black cloaked heralds. None shall eat meat without first sharing a portion with their greater fey lords. Those that have visited temples of Rava must pay a fine, and none, of, none may consume dwarven ale because it tastes of piss. These are the things that are heard on the streets in the city itself. However, we don't begin in the city of Zobek. No, 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 no. We begin in the modest home within the town of Samasta, where currently resides a few fey folk of fey origin. So, Lefariel, would you like to describe your house? Oh boy. Um, well, I, I would like to think that it's probably a fairly decent one, seeing as it's uh, part of the bargain for my hand. 
Um, Hands are important. I didn't need the left one anymore. That's why it's it's important to somebody. So that yes. obviously they have given you something great. Yes. Um, so I, I I like to think it's kind of one of those uh, old world type houses where it's made out of like. You have a brownstone. No, 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 no. Jeez, no. <laughs> um, but out of uh, what is that stuff called? The white stuff. <laughs> so cool. Stucco. Uh, yeah, kind, kind of like stucco. Yeah, the stucco like stuff, uh, stucco and wood and uh, flagstone. And the tears of children. <laughs> and uh, probably like a thatch wo- thatch roof. I have to do upkeep on this shit every year. It's pain. Oh, thatch is expensive, fancy. Hot damn. Good, good. And would you like to describe your character? Oh. Let, let, let me grab that because that was actually a lot. Um, Lath's favorite color is blue. Lath has electric blue eyeliner and electric blue lipstick and is otherwise like as dark as the night sky and yes, just as sparkly. Um, they ha- wear loads of blue suede and cream colored silks. Brilliant. I love it. Love it. Now, sitting in, sitting with you this evening around your half, it, you are joined by Sitali. Would you like to introduce yourself? So Sitali is a shadow fae. She is, she has skin that is very deep blue and then her freckles are like constellations on her face. She has a little bit of horns that she kind of keeps under this very red cloak. Her very aesthetic is red and black. She looks like a fancy goth witch, which is everything I was going for. And she just quietly having some tea and just taking everything in. She's very quiet and just watching. Can I die over the fact that our characters look like twins? <laughs> I know. Like you twins mentioned and, Ophé and I was like, there it is. And we're going to have very similar accents. <laughs> we're all I, going voice. I'm, I'm loving all like everyone has their own aesthetic that's also very similar but very distinct <laughs> does that continue with the other person joining you at the half this evening with Tatiana well, well hello I am Tatiana uh, so Tatiana is even though she's she's wearing a lot of green and grey she's somehow very bright because she's, she's just a, like a ball of energy and she's got a skull that's got, it's on fire to an extent. She's got a cinder skull from sweet, sweet grandmother. But yeah, she is probably talking to the skull, also drinking tea. Generally, just very energetic. And she's got several musical instruments all around her. Just One, waiting. Wonderful. So as you sit here in this, you know, late November, early December-ish evening, you know, it's a bit cold out, but you're nice and all three of you are nicely warmed by the around the half. Um, it is early evening. You've got drinks. You've been, you've spent a nice like afternoon going around the Margrave, and you've come back to just warm yourselves up for the fire for the evening before rest takes you. So, before rest takes you, is there anything you would like to do? I forgot to mention I have long green hair. Just generally. Oh, no wait, just store check. Blue, green, red, and black. Okay. Sam, whenever you get on, just make sure your character has a, I mean, a color as it, well. <laughs> you know, do you, yeah, Sam, Sam's gonna be real intense. Where- <laughs> We're they. We're supposed to be very extra. We're extra. Yeah, my character is extra is. Excellent. Excellent. Be great. So is there anything you like to do before rest takes you? So. Yes. Will... So. What exactly is our plan for tomorrow? 
Oh, we have a plan. Oh, okay. Well, that's encouraging. <laughs> uh, okay. Traversing the shadow road is no uh, small feat. No, oh, certainly not. Uh, I'd say first thing is we avoid the owls. We know owls are a problem. Okay, so we avoid the owls. That sounds like a great plan. It sounds like a hoot. <laughs> a hoot <laughs> and a half, if you will. <laughs> I'm trying to be a fancy witch lesbian, but also fun. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, and with that, Tatali is just going to quietly go go off to the side a bit and just pull this book out of her bag and start writing in her journal. Excellent. I'm going to pluck on something. I don't have anything prepared for this week because life is chaos. Next week, I will play something. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to do some, some beautiful, beautiful musicking because that's my job. Uh, and Lafario? Uh, probably packing up a few things if we're planning to, to go on a short journey anywhere. Um, and then making sure stuff like my chest is locked up when I'm done. Uh, that I know where my extra key's hidden. D double checking, you know, all the important the, hey, I own this place. I'm not gonna let no squatters come in while yeah. I'm gone. Stuff. All, all the windows are locked. All the all the doors are done. Gas is turned off. That kind of stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna yes. take the opportunity as the character be like, because I'm a wackadoo. Oh, by the way, why are we going for exposition for the people? Right. Anyway, so why are we going? So, uh. To make sure that's happened like the night before all of you had your rest and all three of you had a shared dream all three of you were approached by a man in a resplendent outfit with tiny horns coming out with a well coiffed plume of silver hair and he went came up to you and said Oh, hello. I'm sorry to intrude. This is very awful, I know, and this would be quite strange for you, I know, because, you know, a random person talking to you in dreams. Um, hello, um, I'm the hidden ambassador Felmadane, and, you know, I'm here in the, I'm the ambassador from the Queen uh, here in Zodbeck, and, and you might have heard we have a few problems, and, you know, I'm trying to keep the peace, but I can't be seen to try, try and keep the peace and do anything publicly. So I need people to do this things publicly. So I would like to meet with you all. And if possible, I would like you to go visit the courts, if that's okay. Um, I'm at the Winter's Kiss, if you need to come see me in the city and enjoy your rest, I suppose. I look forward to your meeting, perhaps. I'm not sure how dreams work. This is strange. <laughs> As a note for uh, Tatiana, Someone just appearing and talking to her in her dreams would not shock her for even a single solitary second. I've got whispers constantly. Like, this is not weird to me. Well, you are very apologetic. This is just, seem this is not how everyone talks. Oh, 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 well, um, thank you for saying that. Well, I, I you know, these, these, com these common people, you know, who aren't fey folk, you know, they, they don't understand like dreams sometimes and we can talk to people, but I don't know, it's, it's strange. Deeper senses of consciousness. Of course. No, there's no reason not to have conversation. I'm going, I'm going to enjoy meeting you. It's going to be very much. Very, very much. excited. Just remember, you know, winter's kiss. Um, winter's kiss. And I will give you all the directions. And if you, you know how to get to fate, like on the shadow roads as well. That'd be, oh, that'd be good to know. Of course. So that happened. And then you are, so you're prepping, you're prepping for your journey um to go meet with this ambassador and know a bit about how to get onto the shadow roads of which two of you i'll let you to make me an arcana check uh like lefariel and sitali and sitali can do it with advantage for reasons for reasons i'm sorry about it <laughs> <laughs> where, where where like where's my 21 that's not in there right 21 <laughs> and the second, so check. Uh, that is a 25. Okay. 
<laughs> and a fake cat appears out of nowhere. A fake cat. <laughs> you did say that you were surprised that they weren't in there yelling at you. And then they're like, pay attention to me, mother, now. Well, there. This what has been doing? constant. Parental unit, what are you doing? So you all know that fr- from your from your backgrounds of being fae, from Shadow Fae yourself, that you know that there are many ley lines and ley roads in Midgard and way to get from this world into the parallel world and get into the fa- Shadow Realm. So you know that to get onto these roads, there are certain places in the world that are more open to these roads being be able to be accessed, like all the slip roads, basically. Um, and you know that you know, if you, that's the from what you recall, the shadow courts have a partic- are in a particular mirrored place in the world. Um, but so is there are ways in, in from Zobek because it's the crossroad city. Um, uh, Sitali, as you're getting this information, uh, you have whispered into your ear. And she goes, "Oh, darling, I do must say to you though." If we are going to go on the Shadow Road, there sometimes is a toll, and you need to find a way to pay the piper, so to speak. So just remember when you're looking for that to find the toll person, okay? Or find a way to pay the toll. Do you understand? I don't suppose you could be any more specific about what exactly I'm supposed to be paying. Well, it's just ask the ambassador. He will let you know. I'm not going to make it easy for you now, am I? You never do, but okay. Jolly good. We need a piper. <laughs> I got the pan pipes. So, with that, you have your nice rest. You wake up the next morning, bright and early. What do you do? So I can make sure all the doors are all locked and everything's. <laughs> Cliff of warning. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And I believe as a doom croaker, you can do that for free i believe yeah i think so that should be yeah honest. yeah yeah Here's the thing yep out out of dm all the ca- all the players are playing uh character classes and subclasses available in uh, the midgard setting so they're all a bit different so mm-hmm. it's great we're, we're going to we're going to discover new spells and new abilities as we go along oh tim did you do the math for our standing yes i have done the math okay uh, I'll give you the, the standing. I'll give you the standing now. Okay, because that'll help me know how fancy or not fancy. Okay, currently at the moment you're standing, Tatiana. You have a plus two to your standing. Lefario, you have a plus three. Sitali, you have a plus three. Oh, you too fancy. That will come into play very much later. It's very low. <laughs> There are ways to advance it. Oh. At least it's not a negative. Exactly. It could have been. We ain't getting any <laughs> dates in the court yet, no. Well, maybe. <sighs> Don't give up so easily. This is the beginning of Monster Prom. We need to level up. <laughs> we, we've taken our personality test, and now <laughs> we've got to go become fun in the bathroom. Or was that bold? I think it was bold. Anyway. Tim, you need to play this game. I... I will add it to my list of things to research, but fun in the bathroom, that's a bit... That- that, uh, <laughs> gold in the bathroom. Fun is it in the outside next to the tree where you have a sick rave. Let's you move right, on. You're right, Stat. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we'll play it someday. It'll be great. We'll play, we'll play it someday. <laughs> so, what do you do this morning as you prepare to leave, leave the home? I have my shoes on backwards. Wrong feet. Okay. You say no. Good, good to know. <laughs> uh, I would like to, if we can, stop off somewhere and uh, buy some healing kits or potions. Okay, you know, we can certainly do that. Shopping. Yes. We can do a bit of shopping. No problem. Shopping. Shopping episode. <laughs> yeah, let's do shopping. <laughs> bell, bell, bell. Fantasy Costco. Where all your dreams come true. Got the <laughs> so we're going to Fantasy Costco to buy health potions. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Wackadoo. Wackadoo is all of us. 
Right. So, do you make your way towards the city of Zobek? Yes. Yes. I think so. It, it is. It is a bit. As you go outside, you're greeted by the cold morning air. You know, there's nice layer of frost on the ground. You know, you see, there's not many people on the road. Uh, but you know, do you, you can. There is a horse and cart. As Lafari has a horse and cart as part of having the homestead as well, which you can get in. There's no driver, but you're pretty sure that you just tell the carriage where to go. It will go there. So you can walk, you can get to Zobek in relative comfort, uh, not being exposed to the harsh winter winds, which there are harsh winter winds. <laughs> but you know, journey is only about an hour. You go and you, it's the night, the road is nice. You're going around the, um, uh, you're going on the edge of the forest of the Margrave, which you all love the Margrave. You just see like the nice like the frost going over the winds. You see occasionally a deer r- panting through the forest. And you don't really see anyone on the roads, which is strange because this is the main road into the city. But you think nothing of it. You're in a nice, comfort, car- comfortable carriage. And within an hour, you arrive at the city gates to traffic. Nice, lovely fantasy traffic, <laughs> and you know who you you know you look at you look at all of you look out the window and you see there's about five carriages ahead of you, and everyone is going for the whole long slow process of going through immigration and customs to get into the city. Um, after about 25, 30 minutes of waiting in the carriage, a lovely small shadow fay chamberlain comes up to you and goes. Oh yeah, uh, do you have uh, documents or papers or what's your reason for vis- visiting the city at this time? I'll show my student ID. <laughs> I also show my student ID. Right. Bar um, College. Bar College. Right. That's that's good. <laughs> right. So you have a college and geography. Right. What's your purpose for visiting the city? I go to the college. Okay, you go to the college. Yeah. All right. Um it's kind of you, no, do you do you have there. do you have any items you wish to declare at this time? I ha- I have a loot. Is that what you mean? Well, it's good to know you got a loot. Do you have anything you're trying to smuggle in? Are you trying to smuggle in people? Are you trying to smuggle in goods? Are you trying to smuggle in loots which are illegal? <laughs> loots are what? There are some loots that are illegal. It's, oh, it, okay. I was like, this is made of wood. I don't understand. Do Do you have any dwarven ale? Oh, oh that stuff tastes like oh, no, dude, no. That's good. Why would Why would we have dwarven ale? That's uh, it's an abomination. Do you do not you, see us? That's. I'm sorry. I need to ask. It's part of the list. I need to. But... Well, I I understand. You're doing a very good job. Yeah. Well, um, thank thank you, thank you. Um, well, uh, is there any way you're staying in the city if you're st- intending to stay for a long period of time? So we can contact you if we wish to contact you about further information. I mean, I don't plan on staying because it's classes, but if I did, I guess I would be at the college. Okay, right. Well, um, I'll just... Yeah, damn. Um, and he just like, uh, just has a quick look around. He notices that, you know, all of you are of Fey origin. He goes, all right. Um, can you just give me like one minute, please? And he just shuffles off and, you know, about five minutes go by and suddenly two guards come towards you with a chamberlain and goes, um, if, if it's all right with you, uh, I'd like these two guards to get on and lead your carriage into the city so we can expedite this process so you don't have to wait in the queue with all these other commoners. Is that all right? That sounds it's fantastic. Right. Of course, you are, you are a doll. Well, then, then, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just doing what I can for other fey beings. It's all good. And so he just shuffles off, starts interrogating the carriage behind you and the two guards get on. They're in nice um, black leather with sl- with some nice, um, almost floral leather inlaid, like embossed inlays and like nice. deep purple on their arm. And they both get on and goes, uh, excuse me, darling, we're just going to go ahead, no problem. Just drive the car in the city, past all these queues of, you see that you, if you look out the carriages, you see, you know, some dwarven carriages. There's one, there's one very unfortunate dwarven ale seller who is very much having all of his barrels are going the through. They're ever. checking everything, checking oh. all the papers, showing all the ID. Uh, there's a very rich, um, wealthy looking uh, human individual who is very annoyed that they're not being let into the city and why are you commoners being let into the city? But, Fancy as fuck. But 
you go in no problem you arrive into the city uh they park you in the nicer car park of the city for the carriage park and they and they just said oh we'll um we'll make sure no one uh uh damages your cart uh here is your ticket if you need your ticket to come back to get it later and we will escort you if anything else needs done but have a good day well, thank you so much i feel like what we just went through is the beginning of is it sherwood forest the one where you have to smuggle apples into the city i feel like we just played that game don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what game you're talking about. That's Sheriff, of, Sheriff of Nottingham. Ah, that one. Yeah. 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 You have to you can become the king of chickens. <laughs> it's a whole thing. So, you want to go shopping, yes? Yes. Right? You, get into, you can get into the city. You can very easily find a potion, potion store. You were looking for health kits, weren't you? Yes. You find very good a pocket fairy. Uh, you go in, you, it's met by a nice tiny gnome who's wearing a very nice, you know, green, like, nice, a nice green, like, three piece suit. And they go, All right, love. Right. How many, um, what's some health potions? Yeah. That would be correct. How many do you want? I think about six will do. Six. Right. Is that six each or six total? Depends how much they cost. Nah. Well, because you're buying in, if you're buying in bulk, I can do you a discount if that's all right. That would be lovely. Thank you so much. Right. Well, it's um. Well, I can let it go for uh, if you're getting uh, eight, six of you each. I'll let it go for six hundred gold. Yeah, that's gonna be like I was waiting for the. It's gonna be like eight thousand plus your lungs. <laughs> like, oh dear, I find myself unable to pay such an amount. Well, how much have you got, and how much? How much have you got? I will check my bag, and I don't know how much I have. I uh, also forgot how much we was our thing. Oh shoot! I didn't write that down. So, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Forgot. I'll tell you uh, what. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna roll all your gold right now. <gasps> yes. Right. Oh, I'm gold, scared. Gold, gold and gold. However, this. Sorry. However, there's gonna. However, there's gonna be math. So, oh, who wants to have their money first? Go for it. All right. Okay. Uh. First. Oh, sorry. I cut you. Cut out there. What do you say? How? Oh, because I hit my hat on that. Uh, Thirty-eight times six. Thirty-eight times six. Uh, I know how to do this in my head. Told I'm getting you. my calculator out. I'm not proud. <laughs> yeah. I'm Daddy. sorry. Da Daddy's giving you your pocket money. Damn it. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious! It's already started. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he said leather earlier, and I was waiting for it then. <laughs> it's 228. Okay. Right. Who wants pocket money next? I will take it. All right. Uh, 78 gold. Sorry, you rolled a one on the six. Oh. So. That tracks. Finally. Uh, nice work. I was do that. That's... 120 gold. Flat. Okay. Great. That, uh... Right. So, how many do you want? Well, I only have 150 gold. I've got. And uh, no one wants to go broke on a single. Shopping trip, seriously. Uh, yeah. Um. I'll tell you what. I'll do you um. Three normal potions, of healing, and I'll throw you in a special potion from the Lucky Dip draw. Lucky Dip. So well, that's for awesome. for a hundred for a hundred gold. That sounds very good to me. Okay, right. Back in a second. He, you know, goes behind the counter where he didn't walk off. He just drops behind the counter because he's on a stool. 
he comes up with a nice little like like a nice like you know the he starts getting out you know he gets out the free gets out the four potions including one which is a strange silvery color um he you know puts them in a box he then puts the wrapping around the box he then opens a drawer gets a scoop of lavender puts lavender in there then Wait, he gets a, a love actually thing. <laughs> gets another drawer gets out some sprigs of holly put some holly in gets a nice bow around it then he gets a larger box puts that in the larger box and then puts some rose petals in puts them on the top gets a nice bow gets a large bag decorative bag with his company logo on and he goes Brandy. right there you go enjoy i appreciate all the branding that went into this i can't imagine the losses on the paper you have well, it's, you know, it's, it's part of one of those edicts, you know? Like the Queen the queen took the, one of the Queen's edicts the other day. I've got to do, like, all this rigmarole to do, like, all the packaging if I'm on Poker Theory. Oh, uh, my, that, that I mean, it like makes a sense terrible to, life. It makes sense to me, but I don't know. It's... I mean, it, it's extra tea. Yeah. I always like a tea, especially with those rose petals. Good, pay, good tea. And the pot. lavender. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Um, I don't know what the other potion is. We just had it. So, there you go. That's I will be keeping that one specially. Oh, uh, no problem. Uh, I had, had 100 gold. Yep. Every now, every like 20 of coin, he like bites it. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. I had some guy come in last week and give me loads of silver that was disguised as gold. Sorry. That's ridiculous. At least it wasn't chocolate. Oh, you. That would have been delicious. Oh, that would have been fun to find, though, if you were debating it in the you know. If you it want, if you, if you want, if you want chocolate, there's a chocolatey around the corner. Mmm, tempting. It is very tempting. Well, that's we good. just don't go to the Shadow Road at all. We just go and have like a nice time in the city. <laughs> just have a tea time. <laughs> well, um, so right. thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Um. Thank you. All right. Have a have a lovely day and God bless the Queen. Yeah. Oh, yes, God bless the Queen. Jolly good, jolly good. So yeah, you have a free normal health potions and a strange silver potion of which I will randomly roll for at some point for you. I love a random table. So Tali, what are you doing with all those extra herbs? Oh, these? Yeah. I was just going to keep a hold of them. Okay. As long as but they're not just being tossed. No, couldn't. No, you can't just toss herbs. You could be useful for something. God, imagine the waste. Right? Especially the holly. Do you want the holly? I you might want to, the holly. You got um, to keep the bloody holly. <laughs> I I give her the holly. <laughs> then. Oh, can I have one of the lavender? Just one. I don't need them all. I'll give you one of the lavender. <laughs> I put it on my cinder skull, which is hanging from my staff, like my lan- my because I have a lantern as a mystic of Baba Yaga, and my cinder skull is my lantern. I just sort of put it like where it would potentially be in here, just sort of hanging there. Yeah, no, Holly goes in a oh, couch. <laughs> the light. Excellent. You might say it's for components. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Excellent. This day is going so well. Is there anywhere else you would like to go in the city and go shopping? I'm quick tent. Mm, 70 whatever plus what I had on my starter. I mean, we're not necessarily going to be using gold once we leave. We don't no. know that. We don't yeah, know that. Fair yeah, that's why I said not, that's not necessarily we might not use it. But, mm. but we might. I want to go visit that chocolate here. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, as you, you know, you walk out the shop, you know, you don't see, if you, everyone make me a perception check. Okay. Ah. Boy, howdy. Cool boy, howdy. What is that? Uh, 19 plus 7. 26. Okay. I got an 11. <laughs> 20, non-natural. All right. So Tali... <laughs> Sally, you're not paying attention. You're just quite happy and like with you, what you got in your bag. Um, Lafariel and Tatiana, uh, you kind of realize, like looking at the people walking down the street, um, there isn't that many dwarves or humans. 
Um, there are a lot of gnomes. There are a lot of goblins. There are a lot of elves. Not a lot of non fey beings. As you're walking around. Um, you know, you walk out the store. You go down the street. It's only a damn block down. And then you are si- you are confronted. The whiff of the chocolate hits Tatiana and Lafariel first. So Talia, you're just, you know, yeah, like, you know, you don't reach, it doesn't reach you. But the, the waft of chocolate just comes up to you and then it just guides you towards the shop and there's a nice sm- gilded, d- like golden door. As you walk in, you just see this entire store of like floor to ceiling chocolate of all different kinds from truffles to like some nice milk chocolate, some dark chocolate. There's some like fruit dipped in chocolate. There's some chilies dipped in chocolate. There's some, <gasps> cho- there's some hot chocolate in the corner. There's some cocoa in the other corner. There's some dried chocolate. There's some milk chocolate. There's some milk, chocolate milk, milkshakes in the corner. There's even some chocolate ice cream at the other end. But as you walk in, you know, there's, there's quite a lot of like love. There's quite a lot of fey beings in here as well. Just going around just like having tiny samples because of course it's a chocolate shop. There's always tiny samplers everywhere. Teeny, teeny little, teeny trays. tiny samplers. Teeny trays, maybe some of them that have toothpicks. Yeah, and they're just so. The stops the stores there. You are greeted by a, uh, you're greeted by one of, by a human wearing quite obviously fake elf ears, um, <laughs> in a like bellboy outfit. Effectively, he goes, "Hello, welcome to." Um, Madame Devon's chocolatier, I'd like to welcome you all, and please feel free to have as many samples as you like. I sort of walk up to him, get turned to the around the, at the ear, sort of like. Uh, like hello. I sort um, of almost poke his his fake elf ear. Nice. Um, thank you. Just being odd. That's that's that just kept it's fine. It's, thank you very much. Please feel free to try all the chocolate you like, as said by the recent edict from the Queen. God bless her. Yes, God bless the Queen. God bless the Queen. Uh, out of curiosity, for those of us who don't live in the city, mm-hmm. is there a place where we can find out about all the edicts? Yes. So there are every. So there are a uh, edicts plastered on lots of now empty shop windows. Uh, there's also black hooded people going around spouting out new edicts every day, kind of like the news, like imagine like the 1920s newspaper boy, but a hooded black figured individual just spouting out. Um, how many of you speak Elvish? I think all of us. I think all of you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I was about to say like most of you are <laughs> We're elves, all anyway. elves. You're all elves, yeah. I was about to say, I just had to check. Racial. Yeah, yeah. You will hear it plain and clear whenever you, if you go near them, you'll, you will hear, because they're spouting it in Elvish, so you will hear exactly what the edicts are. Everyone else is going to be a bit like, what? And wait till it's written down. I think I speak, just for clarity, I speak common Elvish, Sylvan, Goblin, and Umbral. Umbral? Oh, Umbral, yes. You told me that that was a good one to pick. So. Umbral, yes. Umbral is a good one. For, yes, Umbral is a good one to pick for this adventure. <laughs> I, always, I also have Umbral because I thought it went well with the Void aesthetic. It does. It very uh, much does. And Doom Croaker gives you Umbral too. <laughs> Yay! We have, well, I took Goblin because yeah. you said that might be fun. Goblin's going to be fun. Feel, felt Also felt very like my character would speak Goblin. I, I'm, I was surprised if, got, if your character didn't speak. Lots of languages. Really. I'm a bard. You're a bard. Bard speak of the languages. Um, this makes sense. Next week. Yeah. Uh, next week. Uh, but no, the chocolate shop is yours. You can sample as much the chocolate as you like. <laughs> I don't think I'm looking so much for samples as I am to purchase. Okay. I'm sampling. So, <laughs> okay. So, as you know, at the other end of this. Uh, at the end of the store, deep deep in the store, there's all there's a um, there's another you know bellboy effectively um, with again because of your perception role, obviously fake ears, but real enough that they look real. Um, he's basically behind a counter and is just stood there looking a bit more happy than the one who greeted you at the front door. And he's like, 
Hello, can I help you with anything today? Or do you want more samples? Oh, I don't need samples when you know what you want. What, what, do you, what do you want? Do you happen to carry dark chocolate mint truffles? Mm. With pomegranate. Ooh, with pomegranate. Um, we, 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 might, we might be able to get you know, the dark chocolate mint truffles, but I'm not sure with pomegranate. Um, is there, a, I, I could go back and see if we can have ones made for you. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, just, just give me just one moment, and I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Sort of walk over to you. What's your character's name again? Pixie. Laugh, Lariel. Light laugh, 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 laugh. laugh. Is what we're calling you. Okay. Yeah. I will remember soon. I come up to you with samples. Like this stuff. This stuff is very good. Mm -hmm. I came here. Are they making you something? Uh, yes, they didn't have a specific type of truffle I like, so they are. Mm. What are you getting? Uh, dark chocolate mint with pomegranate truffles. Oh, that sounds good. Mm. They had trouble with the pomegranate, didn't they? Yep. <laughs> I am unsurprised. The, the, the bar boy comes back out and goes, um, we can have some made for you. It'll take about, you know, 20-ish 20, 20 minutes. Is that okay? Is that okay? I am fine with waiting. Oh, 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 do you, do you want some as well? Oh, no, just I'm with her. Okay. Um, well, um, um, I'm sorry for making you wait. Um, uh, please do accept uh, some of this um, nice cocoa we brought for you no. and some hot chocolate. Um, would you like any like uh, extra flavorings added to it? Because we've got mint, we've got chili, we've got vanilla, we've got almond, we've got amaretto. What mm. kind of chili? Oh, well, it's it's... A scotch bonnet. It's very hot. Okay. Mm, like Explosive nearly. Mm. Maybe in a separate batch. Okay, yes, we can do that for you. And he hurries off. You've been about five minutes later, he comes back with like a tray of different types or neatly labeled, with, like ornate writing saying what's in each one. So you have about five in, five different hot chocolates in front of you, all in different flavors, including a, a normal flavor. Yeah, I'll go for the squish bonnet. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would as well. Um, roll me a d20. Yes. A 12. A 12? Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. Um, it's spicy. Very spicy. Yes. Um, cool. Tatiana, because you rolled a 16. Oh. Uh, you are resistant to fire damage for one hour. Nice. <laughs> this is very hot, you know, like it, if when it's you breathe invigorating. and when you when both of you notice as you breathe out, it's almost like you're breathing out little bits of like puffs of flame. Nice. As you're speaking. I look at my cinder skull. Nice. The cinder skull responds. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd like to have it like a shrunken head just yelling at me occasionally. That would be great, even if it's just in my mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you know if this is in your mind or not? I don't. I don't know anything. Or do I know everything? You never know. You know something. What? You know something. Oh, I know everything. Or nothing. Or everything. We're just getting it. This is what we do. We just have a whole meaningless <laughs> back and forth conversation that nobody Endless knows. Endless cycles. Satali and Lefariel, you're, you're seeing Tatia just talking to herself. Oh, and when, whilst they're doing this, uh, yeah. when we entered the chocolate place, Satali quietly slipped out uh, okay. and is just going to walk into a slightly quieter part, not a lot of people. Uh, people were being very hospitable in there and it was immediately raising her suspicion. So she was like, not part of it. The chocolates <laughs> may be poison. People are being uh, nice, how dare. I know, people are being nice, it's very suspicious. Uh, and she's going to pull out, to just open her bag. And Dokken is like, this city is a little bit strange, don't you think? What? Oh, she's going to say it to the grimoire. So I'm not the only one talking to <laughs> yeah, things the, that may or may not be talking. The book, the book is silent. 
Sometimes I think you are more of a diva than you let on. Oh, dar oh darling, you should have realized that. There it is. I assume this is Val's special item. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Go raise eyebrows and give you eyes. There's everybody is far too nice here. There's clearly something horrible going on. They offer free samples. No one does that. Well, unless you tell them to give you free samples. I mean, yes, if you go up to them and say, give me free samples, then <laughs> clearly they will do that because they fear you. But they're just offering it and smiling. And the people in there are wearing fake ears. It is all very bizarre. This sounds like normal fey nonsense to me, darling. Maybe I've been away for too long. It's, it's even creeping me out slightly. I'm going to wait for them to get back, finish eating their chocolates. I okay. do not like it here. Okay, darling. And with that, she's going to wait outside for them to finish. Okay, going back to Tatiana and Lafario. Uh, so the uh, the bus boy, after a short while, comes back in with a nice ornate black box with gold ribbon, and contained within it are dark chocolate truffles with mint and pomegranate. Mm. Very really fancy. He goes, um, well, um, we've made um, three lots um because well we made one for you and one for you and an extra one to apologize for the inconvenience of having you for having you wait um very considerate and uh, now now is this the small delicate matter of um um coin mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. um so because because it was a custom item uh, sadly uh, that's um the uh, five gold for the two boxes Mm. Well, the um, toolboxes you said you made extra. Extra comes with just because uh, we had to wait. Yes. Uh, the, the extra, the, yeah, the extra boxes because we're apologizing to you so, oh, so wholeheartedly for waiting. Well, um, then, but I will gladly accept that. I will contribute if you should need me to or want me to waste. I will. I, I just hand you two gold because. Oh, okay. Well, I, 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 I split I, I the silver is a pain. So that's um, a 10 gold total, please. Oh, well, then I hand you five. No matter what universe you're in, fantasy, sci-fi, always be nice to retail workers and staff workers. They oh. work their butts off and they do not get paid enough for it. It shows more about you than it does about them. Always tip. Nice to service employees. Tip your waiter. Hey, well, um, 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 thank, you, thank, you, thank you for the coin. Thank you so much. Um, Yes, and uh, um, uh, you know, uh, if you would like any more, uh, we, we here's our card. Um, it's a it, it acts as a sending spell. So if you want to make an order, just you know, send us a message, and we'll have the order ready for you, so you don't have to have the inconvenience of waiting any longer. Okay. Um, um, and it's it's uh, it's good for um, five a day if you want to um, send. As for yeah. the uh, the apology truffles. So to speak. Yes, yes, yes. Why don't you hand them out around the shop and see if more people let, like them? Well, oh. it could become a very popular item. You, you, you I, I can, I can see that you might not know what the, our tastes might be. Oh, yes. I feel like um, these will be greatly um, popular if you hand them out. Um. Yes. Um. But. Um, uh, we, we kind of have to give you the apology ones. So would you, we can make some more, but please take the apology ones. Please. I feel like <laughs> Doesn't it? The, the queen would be very upset if we didn't take these from you, right? I got it. Yeah, really. yeah, yes, the, 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 yes, the, okay. the, it, yes, and, and God bless the queen. God bless the queen. God yes. bless the queen, yes. Um, just, just please, uh, we, we will gladly you know, take your advice. I take um, the box from him so he calms down. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Um, we, we shall make more and we shall uh, give it around the shop and to have people to try it. So, but thank you. Sounds, thank you so sounds much. wonderful. But thank you so you much. You are doing thank a you. great job. Um, may, I don't mean to intrude, but may, may I ask why, you, why you're in the city? We go to college. You go to college. Oh, okay. jolly good. Um, uh, I am we, a bard. Oh. You may be able to see. 
of course the I'm, the I'm strapped with instruments i cut them all over the the yes that that that's kind of a dead giveaway i should have noticed that my, my apologies my apologies um, who, who's to know who who is who is to know these days um yes um if you would like anything else of course you know just give us a just give us a ring on that card and we already you know good. And again, uh, my, my, my apologies uh, as on behalf of the establishment for wait, making you wait. You start to slowly back away. Okay, well, toodle pip. Good Goodbye. Thanks. Goodbye. Still maintaining eye contact. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Has anyone in this shop noticed that I'm wearing my shoes on the opposite feet? I mean, we, did, we never caught it. <laughs> I'm just it's like you you have one child. I give them a knowing nod. The child's like holding onto their mum's hand is like The child that goes to the mother's hand and starts putting their shoes on the wrong way around and seeing if their <laughs> mum notices. <laughs> their mum doesn't notice. I'm spreading <laughs> chaos. Delightful. Um, I have infected the youth. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you you have the chocolates, and you have your potions. What what else would I have to do in the city? I, I, I'm good. I got what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you got the chocolates. I don't know that I can think of anything that I necessarily want to need. I'm trying to think about my character. I can I can eat dust if I need to. So I'm probably not in want of a lot. <laughs> True. So um, do you want to go try and find the ambassador? Yeah, I think so. Winter, right. Winter. Um, um, yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, do you want to? How do you want to find the ambassador? <laughs> well, I think we were given a location, so I. The winter. For the winter's kiss. Okay. Winter's kiss. Um, are you going to go ask guards? Last round of where it is. I think we would head to the college and ask one of the other students if they happen to know. Okay, right. Uh, Let's so go to you, the library. You make your way to the library! <laughs> so as you make your way to the library... Uh, yes, it's always in the library. Always the library! <coughs> as you make your way to the library, um, you get there, you start asking around. Um, everyone make me persuade... Uh, Persuasion check. Oh, really? Oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 19. 19. Good to know. I gotta do some math. Persuasion. I got the 15. 15 to know. <laughs> so 15 and 19 and. 28. 28. Okay. You're all asking around. You're all asking around and everyone's like Winter's kiss? No. Does it ring a bell? Doesn't ring a bell. You know, it, and you you are asking literally everyone. Like Tatiana is on a table just shouting it in oh, the hello. library. Hello. Anybody. And, and Excuse me. And everyone's like is is that a new club? Well, it might like, be. Like we've not, there's no place in the in the area about it. Hmm. Well, this seems to be not working out so well. Uh, does anyone like have a spell? Can we find a place? I don't. I do some magics. Uh... Should we? Did we ask the librarian? <laughs> Did, right. You, you want to go ask the librarian? I mean, the librarian is the person to ask if you need information. They are beautiful blessings on the world. This Be nice true. to your librarians and your service employees. So who's asking the librarian? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not doing it. <laughs> I assume it would be me. All right. Hey! Yes, hello. Hey! Ag Agnes? Is that yes. you? Yes! Oh, hang on. I do talk. Tatiana? Yeah, you go. You got there. I didn't even have to help you at all. Didn't I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting there. Hang on. I'm getting I'm, old. Hang on. It's oh, all. It's perfectly fine. You are. You are youthful as the day is. 
child. Oh, you're, you're terribly kind, terribly kind, Dad. How can uh, I help you with? Uh, no music books from me today. I am looking for a place I've been told, but nobody seems to know where it is. And if anyone's going to know anything about anything, it's going to be you. Oh, you're terribly good. Did you, did you look in the Atlas section? We were going to look in that general direction, but I can never find it. Well, you, you know how I get what, turned around. Well, that's why you kind of need an atlas section to find your way around. Yes, I need an atlas to get to the atlas section. Well, but anyway, have you ever heard of Quinter's Kiss? Winter's Kiss? Yes, and not just like smooching in the cold. Huh. Um, then it's a, is it a place? Is it a building? Maybe. I don't, I, we, like, I'm working on very little information as well, Agnes. Oh, hang on, hang on, let me just. You are so helpful. Do you know where it is? Like, is it in the city? Um, Is it out of the city? I, we believe I was told it was in the city. I, it was a, oh, it's a very long story. Hang hang, hang on. I was going to say it's, it was a dream, but I realize. Agnes brings up the, effectively the A to Z guide of Zobek and just goes through the entire book and goes hang on right right hang on hang on hang on when when uh when uh winner's mound no it might be new hmm hang on how are your great great grandchildren by the way agnes oh they're doing fine young (laughs) young bartholomew just got into high school now that's wonderful. He's making good grades, I hope. He's a little shit. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> he takes after you, does he not, Agnes? He takes after my son, ungrateful bastard. Doesn't take care of his grandmother. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so she's going through the new guide now. And it's <laughs> like, Winters, Winters, Polly, Winters, no! Now wait his kiss. Well, I feel like we have been sent on some kind of chase. Thank you so much for your time, Agnes. Are you meeting someone there? Yes. I think so. I'm really not sure at this point. You know me. Who who are you meant to be meeting? I looked at other people, because I have a mind like a sieve. Ah. Uh... You know, I missed the name. Oh, the... Dolly. It's an important uh, person. Uh, yeah, the... Um, uh, I didn't have my notes open whenever we had that yeah, part, um, so I didn't have any notes hidden, yet. It's the, it's the hidden ambassador, Thelma Dreen. Thelma... Thel or Thel? Uh, T-H-E-L-A-M-A-N-D-R-I-N-E. Thelma Dreen. It sounds like... A cleaning product in like Fallout. Thelma Dream. Yes. <laughs> um, right. Um, hey, are you looking for anyone? Uh, yes. It's an ambassador. Well, uh, well, you, you, you assume the ambassador will be in the ambassador district, like with all like, the government. That would make sense, but why would the place that they told us to meet them not be listed? Is there. Oh, could it be a new Fey building that hasn't been put into any of the things yet? Oh! Hang on! Sense. If it's a Fey place, hang on. Oh, it is. It is there. There is a Fey... Isn't, yes, Atlas. Cool. So, Good. She, so Agnes starts slowly moving around, like, properly hunched over moving around, and then after a while she's like, Well, this is not getting anywhere. No. Morris! <laughs> Then down the library, you hear, What? Hello, Boris. Can you bring me a book? What book? The one on Faye! <laughs> right. About a minute later, you see a book come flying out towards you and landing goes, Is that the one you want? Yeah! <laughs> Just start slowly reading through it. Here it is. Well, there isn't a winter's kiss in this book. However, it does say that, you know, 
some places might be hidden. So you might have to ask like other people. This would make sense. But ambassador district, good place to start, yes? Yeah, for that. You are, it, are such a gem, Agnes. I hope that that ungrateful son of yours gets what's coming to him. I should. I'm gonna send someone to kill him soon. Oh, that is a great plan. I was going well, to say, something could happen to him. You could kill him. But you are already ahead of me, Agnes. Well, well there's a market for these kind of things and I want to make sure people have got money. Oh, it is a bustling market. You're helping the local economy, if nothing else. Yeah, I'm not letting it, that piece of shit get in my money. No. Nor does he deserve it. No, he doesn't. Right. But then... But, Agnes, you're going to live much, much longer, though, so... We'll see. The world is good. Anyway, thank you, Agnes. We are, we're going to go try and find him now. All right. Well, thank um, you. See you in a bit. Probably. Sure. Maybe. I don't Maybe. know. Who knows? Someday. I'll still be here. I don't doubt things. Unfortunately, looking on. Always watching. Always watching you. She, halfway through our interaction, she turned into her from Monster Link in my head. Because <laughs> she was moving so slow. <laughs> like a slug. <sighs> anyway, so, I think we might want to go look. Yeah. That place. Yeah. Obviously, no one here can help us. I so, wonder if it's actually uh, located off of one of the shadow roads in the first place. That would be much more difficult. We don't even, like, we know why we're going, but we also don't know why we're going. We haven't been given that. In Has anyone been given any additional information on, like, do we need to bring anything? I sort of look over at Sitali. Um, like, did we have to pay a piper? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I do have pipes, but I don't think that's what they meant. No. We have to pay for piper. something, pay the piper, but we do not know what the piper will ask for. Um, do any of you know speak of animals? <laughs> no, I know what now? They don't even know speak of animals. Is that a spell or just an ability? Spell. Spell. I think I might, because I'm all foresty, but I don't. Where's my spells? No, yeah, so you should speak with your I have it. Yeah. Because I'm all foresty and shit. My help. <laughs> oh, are we so oh, the Val, this is literally what I'm doing in the campaign of running for you and Zill. <laughs> so is there a dog somewhere? I mean we we have to snow white this and talk to the birds. Okay. It's unfortunate if we have to snow white this because we brought <laughs> it all red riding hood. So as you as you walk out the library, there there is, you know, because it's a city, you know, there's a nice nice like courtyard, there's a few trees. You see, you know, a rat going by, you see a few birds in the trees. I whistle at the rat. I cast the spell on myself. I say it, you know, it sounds like squeaks and is I'm even weirder sounding than usual. Hey you. Winter's it kiss. Don't give me that look. Winter's kiss. And like he st he stands on his hind legs and puts up his fans and like his his, his paws and just like sticks up one finger. He um this rat scurries on over to a patch of snow that's been undisturbed, and starts um basically with his tail, roughly. Drawing me what a map. <laughs> all of you make a perception check. <laughs> Is the rat drawing me a map? <laughs> I got a nat 20. Nice. Uh, math in me. Perception. I got a 19, but this one should be probably get us there. Oh, hello, there's a child. Wait. Hello, child. That's the one I corrupted with the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Pixie. Yeah. So the rat finishes off doing its drawing and, you know, roughly 
roughly speaking, you knowing your way around the city for being a college student here and other stuff, you, you you kind of notice some of the streets mm-hmm. and you notice some of the buildings. You're like, oh, that, that. Oh, that, right there? That building. Yeah, that building. Oh, I know that building. And then you start going, oh, what, what, what's over there? And he goes, what, what's, well, what's that one? There's like, but then you realize the Winter's Kiss is located one block away down the side street from the alchemist shop where you bought your potions in the first place. That makes sense. Uh, I take out one of the little samples of chocolate that I had scurried away and I hand it to the rat. The rat's like, go ahead. It is for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just like runs off. You are a beautiful gem. Basically does the whole like Remy the rat routine trying to Mm -hmm. run off with this potion. Well, truffle chocolate thing. Just, uh, it's just like one of the little squares. Yeah. That, that was, was a sample. That was an 18 for the perception. Sorry about right. that. The, uh, the Winter's Kiss is located about a block away from the Alchemist's place around the corner. Uh, it's hidden from people. It looks like a normal building. Um, but the rat's giving you, like, the rats, as you know, look for like the, uh, um, like, he put a mark on where the house is. If you look for that mark, which basically looks like a, um, Oh, what's it look like? It looks like a leaf, but instead of having a normal leafy vein pattern, it's got a snowflake in the middle of it. That's cute. Look for that symbol, and that's the house you have to go into. Okay. And it's just around the corner from the alchemist place. Uh, is there any other secret to it other than it being hidden? Uh, no. That that's we'll, all the we'll rat. We'll find that's out. The rat. So the, the rat can tell you. Okay. The rat really did yeah. his best. <laughs> the rat did his best. Okay, let's go. Okay. So you make your way there. No no real problems, no real fuss, no muss. Uh, you know, you find the door, you find a, you know, one of those, uh, you find the door and in the door frame is this symbol just going around very ornately around the whole door with like a capstone having this engraved in the stone in the middle. Um, you know, door seems open. I'm going to yell at the door. Hello. What's his name again? I wrote it down. Hello. I could try the door. I'm just going to yell at it. Okay. Anyone else going to stop me or open the door? I'm just well, letting this happen. The door. Well, the door doesn't shout back at you. <laughs> Doors is there. Seems to be open. I'm going to go in. Okay. Oh, good. It, you walk in, you know, perfectly ordinary. No one enters, no one leaves. You know, doors is there, it's open. And then there is, you know, three chairs and one chair facing those three chairs. Well, this seems ominous. Let's sit. <laughs> Clearly. No, I really... So Tommy wouldn't, but play a is like, I'm going to sit in the chair that's facing the <laughs> others. <laughs> But Sitali wouldn't do that, so I'll go sit in the third chair. <laughs> okay, sit in the third chair. And then, you know, you're looking around, and then out of the corner of your eye, you see a guy appear, you see a man appear in the chair, wearing a very fine, you know, leather armor with a black overcoat going down, pale, gaunt skin, slicked back hair, and pointy ears. He goes, Hello there. Selma Drin, I assume. Oh no, 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 no. I'm 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 not the master. No. No, no, no. I'm 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 Candomaine. I'm I'm his butler. It's a wonderful to meet you. The master's been expecting you. Now um as you before you can greet the master, of course, you must know there is policies and things we need to follow, so just want to have a quick conversation about decorum while we're here. Is that okay? Sounds like a good idea. Yes, I have no problems. Okay, wonderful. Well, one, no brawling. We will not be having that in this establishment. Why would we brawl? I don't know. Do we look like we're the... the, the I, well, I hold up my not muscular arm. I'm not the brawling type. <laughs> Well, 
That's good to know. Well, then you have Lath, who's not sitting down because the chair's too small. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Second of all, you will you will be spoke you will speak when you are spoken to. You will respond to the questions you are addressed. Is that acceptable? Are we children? No, but you are lower in status than the master, and therefore you will operate yourself within decorum. If the master wishes to lower the decorum, that is his business. But I, as his chamberlain and butler, just want to ensure a good decorum is kept, as is edicted by the queen. God yes. bless her. Grandmother does not raise dumb daughters. Well, be Don't very sure. Don't. Be very sure Don't. that you listen to your grandmother then. It's what I'm saying. Do not call me dumb. I didn't Understand say Understand decorum. Just remember what grandmother taught you. Okay. Not good if you are fixing to insult grandmother. That's good. You are going to have to deal with her, not me. Oh. I don't think you want that. That's true. I shall keep that. Anyway, yes, we will be civil as you are trying to not so elegantly put it. We understand. Excellent. And just finally, you know, how am I going to introduce you all? as part of this. You know, I need to give you all, introduce you formally, so you are formally introduced. So, I have your names here. Can I just make sure I have who's here? Is that okay? Yes. Right, do we have Lafariel? Yes. Good. Um, do we have Sitali? You have a Lady Sitali of the Shivani family. Lady Satali, that's good to know. And uh, do we have a Tatiana? Present. Good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, um, just to let you all know as well, ignore the dogs. They've been fed, I think. I'm not sure. They won't bite, honestly. Just. I, I assume I might still have speak animals on. <laughs> Just no, don't, no. just don't, you know, stick your fingers in their mouths. I mean, that is a dumb idea at the best of times. Oh, jolly good, jolly good. Um, uh, so if you would all please follow me. And he stands up formally, like pulls his, pulls his coat down and escorts you through to uh, the neighboring room, which is a properly, considering it was a very tiny house you walked into, a majestic room with you know, you've got tapestries everywhere, really formal tables, there's silver and mithril goblets everywhere, gold inlaid, um, what's it called? Cutlery. No, the finest of China plates. There is a great decadent uh, portrait of a, of a, what you think is a queen on the wall with a roaring fireplace. And at the end, seated in the largest table with an owl on top of the chair is who you think is the ambassador. Who then is, and then Candomen goes, um, we have the late, we have Lady Sitali, uh, Lefariel, and Tatiana for you, sir. And Candomen goes, oh, jolly good, sir. I've been waiting for these people. It's lo lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, yes, um, you, 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 you can go now, Candomen, like, dust something or whatever you do when you're not talking to people. Yes, very good, sir. Please, please take a seat, and we shall bring out some of the finest uh, Fay wine for you. So, so, good. I need a new goblet now, anyway. So, you are invited to seats at the table. I sit, and I take the seat. Does this chair? Are these, are these are these regular sized chairs again? These these are regular sized chairs. Lath is not going to sit because again. It's a problem. <laughs> okay. And I, right. um, can I cast enlarge or reduce in here? You can try. Can I try and cast enlarge on the chair? You can. What are you, chair goes bigger. Pushes the other two chairs out. I want to give Lath a place to sit. Thank you. After they sit, I, I scooch my chair back real close and we're sort of like shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> All right. As I scooch back after the chair. Well, it's sitting right next to them. 
well, it's lovely for you to accept my invitation here this evening. You know, it's um, you know, I, I do know how to contact you some of these days, and you know, we don't be needing a paper trail now, do we? Um, right. Have you found a way to get into the Shadow Roads? We sort of just talk over towards the other two. Are we allowed to talk now? We were asked a question, so yes. Okay, good. It's kind of a natural thing for some of us. Good. I follow her. Follow that's, them. That's Which all good. Pronouns. Pixie. Okay, yeah. then. You, okay. yeah, you're good. <laughs> so that's good to know. Good to know. Um, ha have you found a way to pay the toll? Mm. Last I checked, the toll came after you due to the thing anyways. You just want to make sure you're set. You don't want to cause any problems now, do we? What exactly might we expect to pay for the toll? It's pay the toll. It's yeah. it's a phrase. Is it the bell? Bell's toll? No, no. It, it, it's the same as every action has its consequence. Oh, alchemy. Kind of. Socially, alchemy. <clears throat> Or karmic alchemy, sure. Oh, we're going to get less interesting, aren't we? Perhaps. I mean, I can offer you a way to pay for the toll, if you sure wish. What exactly would be your price? Well, I can offer you a way to get through the road, no problem, no muss, no fuss. However, I would like something from each of you. A memory. Any specific sort of memory tied to an emotion? You decide. Whatever memory you feel is worth what I'm going to give you. I am unsure because I am already losing a lot of my mind. I don't know how many memories I can, can, can give out. <laughs> I can let you decide, or I can decide for you. No, that seems like a bad option on my part. <laughs> yes. Plus, Tatiana? No, there are memories I'd rather be without, but somehow I don't think you want memories we don't want. Also, if we get rid of memories we don't want, then we might do them again, and then we get mm. them back anyway. Oh, no, I wouldn't be repeating this. <laughs> well, if you don't remember it. Well. It, it, it would require me being around people when I was younger in life. Well, if you would like a suggestion, I would suggest we all forget that we met. I can tell you of this exact meeting. You'll remember that you need to go where you need to go. You'll remember what you need to do when you get there. However, nothing linked to me. For some reason, I don't like this proposition. No, but it does seem wonderfully convenient. Mm -hmm. Make an insight check, Lefariel. Not 20. <laughs> Sorry. You're looking to... Um, yeah, you, you, you know he's holding something back. Mm -hmm. Very much holding something back. Mm. What have you done for us? I don't know that I like to forget people. Okay. Then they know more about me than I know about them. No, I was not told that. So Raven did not communicate with you, but he was leaving it for so let's just, let's put everything on the sh now i can tell you're apprehensive about all this always okay well my job as an ambassador as hidden ambassador from the shadow realm is to keep some kind of decor and order based on some former deals that was made by the fae generations ago 
Now, the particular reason why the Fae are now taking over the city is due to a pact and deal that was broken by the Stross family. The Stross family made a deal with uh, the Moonlit King to take over the city to become in charge of things. However, as the Stross family are no longer in charge, the deal is broken and the Fae are taking back is what is rightfully theirs. However, as you can tell, that's causing some problems. And at the rate things are going, there's going to be a little hullabaloo, shall we say. Oh, uh, I want to avoid that. Because I want a bit of democracy, order. But my brand of chaotic order, if possible. Chaos is fun. Chaos is very fun. However, I want a bit of balance, you know? Now, I can't be seen doing this. I can't be seen meddling with the affairs of my leaders. So, I'm going to do you a deal. I will give you the information to get you onto the road and get you off there, no problem. No fuss, no muss. However, I need to have no, in, no information leading back to me. All I want, I will even give you candomain to write something down on a scrap of paper that just reminds you to go to the courts and end whatever's happening there. But not from me. This conversation never took place. With the Belmar what? dream conversation, did that one take place? It was a dream. Of course it didn't. What is well, a dream? I, like, I, I, what is a dream? I, it is just another form of consciousness. Of course it happened. Did it? Yes. And no, at the same time, it's very good. <sighs> You're going to be a difficult one, I can tell. I mean, it is possible. So, I can give you this if you give me that. What do you think? I got lost 10 minutes ago. Well, I understand the need for secrecy and others not to find out. I would prefer to remember who a contact was. If that makes sense. Deception is not my strong point, so that might be a better idea. Who fact, you... It's not something I can do. Tell me, who told you where this place is? Uh, oh, I did not ask his name, how rude. Oh, it but... was a... Uh... Who hmm. was it? Who told uh, you? It uh, was a rat. Ah. How about a rat told you to go to the courts? I do not know if I could convince these two to go to the courts based on the words of rats. <laughs> Just knowing once we forget that that would be our whole idea. I mean, I could run with the idea that it was a rat that told me. Oh, should I we have... throw out a name that would lend credence to our story? How okay. about Chuck? Oh, I have one goal, and that is to get to the sh on the Shadow Road and to the court. However, you two want to handle this, you will handle it. But my goal is get to the court. And may I just interject? If you wish to get to the road, and do you wish to help her get to the road? And both on all of you want to go to the court to help your friend. Isn't that all you need to know? I'm just following my bliss. So I would follow a rat to the Shadow Realm, but I was just wondering if anyone else would. I do suggest we call him Chuck, though. I can do that. Oh. I like that. So you're following a rat named Chuck to the Shadow Road, to the courts to do what you need to do. And this conversation never took place, did it? What conversation? I'm doing the thing. And also she may genuinely not remember. This is also true. You, you... I smile. This, okay then. I like that. <laughs> Uh, he took he the ambassador 
turns to the owl and goes, there are going to be no trouble. Please leave. The owl transforms into a woman holding another smaller owl with white cape and she with small horns coming out. She goes, just walks off. Now, I believe this calls for a drink just to celebrate. Would you not agree? Should I sing a song? Is it parallel of chocolate? Well, we we can get chocolates. I'm sure we can find some chocolate chocolate. somewhere. We have we have we have have come prepared. You have chocolate? Oh, wonderful. Is this is it from that place around the corner? Yes. Oh. Oh. It's something new though. You haven't had it. Special order. We had to wait. It was worth it. I think I haven't tried it yet. I definitely like all of you right now. Please take some wine and please leave me some of those chocolates. Mm -hmm. So share it out. I am not going to drink this wine. I didn't think you were going to. I'm going to pretend I am. Okay. Who's actually drinking the wine? Bath drinks the wine. Mm, I'm trying to think if I would. I probably would. It's very would, good wine. I would, I would, I would yolo that you. It's very good wine. It's like every single sip, and as it's going down your gullet, this taste is very fruity, and it almost changes as it's going down you. But it warms you. It makes you feel of. It makes you feel like you're at home. Oh. It's very good wine. I have, very good. I have a grandmother's hut. Oh. Smells like charred bones and fear of death. That's a great place. It's wonderful fey wine, you know. It makes you feel like home. I love it. It tastes like ash. Mm-hmm. Ooh, dirt. But, a little bit of dust. So, all good. I will, of course, lend you something just to give a bit of credence to something. And he goes to a box in the corner and brings out and he gives you, you know, each of you a golden glass goblet, which are each worth 2,000 gold pieces. Golden glass? Gold and glass goblet. And, okay, I was very confused. That's a metal Gla- and a bit of glass. Glass goblet gilded with gold. Oh, each worth 2,000 gold pieces. We fancy um, now. You have each also being granted the ability, although you do not know how, to go visit a tailor when you're in the court. We all be Oh yeah, we need that tailor. <laughs> you all you both you all three of you also get a pair of finely made silk and black braces. Oh, this fits my aesthetic very nicely. These are all braces of defense. Of which they are of fate origin. Uh, braces of defense. Yeah. And you are also given an item which basically contains the mem the his memory of this entire meeting. And he's just once he's got his memory out, he goes, I have about a minute or so, about five minutes before this takes effect. I would like your memories as well. Have we agreed? Okay. The ambassador goes towards you, pulls out a wand, pokes it in the middle of your forehead and extracts a golden thread and places it in the bottle. Can mine be kind of wispy and like, not great. It's, it's, it's clearly a little bit fuzzy. (laughs) Yep. And like, you can tell there's not a whole lot in that memory. It's very small. It's smaller than everyone else. (laughs) He remarks, oh, that's... that's I told you. I might not even remember this, even if you didn't take it. That's a bit small. Okay, well, thank you for this. Um, I'm doing my best. uh, Goes over to Lafariel and goes, would you mind? Out of curiosity, what's your safety system for releasing those memories? Oh. This is is the toll. Mm Mm-hmm. You're taking it with you. This is the price you will pay. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We had the plan, didn't we? May I? Yes. Pulls out the thread. Um, 
what does your memory thread look like? <laughs> Probably fairly bright. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is robust and mine is Yeah. <laughs> goes to Tali and goes, my dear, may I? Of course. Okay. Extracts the thread. It's a little darker. <laughs> and pops it in. At this nice. point, at this point, though, the book speaks to you and goes, is he not going to extract my memory? How rude. Shh, darling, you don't need your memory extracted. Just keep smiling. <laughs> Did... You didn't hear that. <laughs> right. There you go. You take that. Take these gifts. Be on your way. And that you'll use that at the end of the ritual to get through the road. And that's your toll. Thank you I'm so much for your hospitality. I'm just happy to be here. Of course. Well, if you'd like to take a bottle of wine to go as well, please, please yes. take a bottle of wine. Okay, well. Yeah. Don't need to ask me to. I won't even remember you soon. Very it's just good. how you want, so. If you want the wine, take it. It's yours. Could be useful. We just make. I, I just like a lot of people eye contact. Okay, just just for purposes, the wine's worth fifteen hundred gold pieces. I, I have taken the wine. Oh, I don't. Play me is so excited <laughs> about the gold and the wine, and Satali doesn't care, and I'm just like gold. It's a good bottle of wine. Yes, <gasps> Val's typical be... character would have stolen the wine before. He even offered it, so I was in a very restrained now. So I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna steal the wine and all these ornaments." And I was like, "No, Satali is fancy lesbian witch," <laughs> and I, I'm just a wackadoo. So, <laughs> well, and as you as you leave this wonderful, resplendent room, you go out the front door and go out into the cold air. As soon as the cold air it, cold air hits you and the door closes behind you. You have no memory of what was in there. You just have loads of strange new items and this feeling that you need to go find a way to get onto the Shadow Road. So I turn to the other two. All right, so Chuck said that we have to go. Who's Chuck again? He was the rat. Remember the rat? rat. Right, the rat. He was very helpful. We went, we saw him right after the chocolate shop. Right. Oh, and that's where we'll end the session. <laughs> oh, we made deals with Faye already. Already. Yeah. Already making those deals, which I'll probably regret. <laughs> Almost certainly, but your book knows. You say it like we aren't Faye. Yeah. <laughs> but we made, if, even when we make deals with ourselves, like today I'm going to get up early and do things, we regret those deals oh. immediately. But yeah. Yeah. Also, it, it's been nice having Jesse still in there yes. and reacting to some of the things we're having. <laughs> where she's just laughing, and I'm like, oh, we're doing good. Oh. We're doing good. <laughs> but yeah, Thank so, you so much. next week, looks like we're going onto the Shadow Road, hopefully. Yes. And maybe finding a bear. And maybe finding a bear, maybe. Maybe. Finding, we not fighting. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. So, yeah, thanks everyone for staying around and with all the technical chaos that's been this evening. It's all been the a delight. Goblins. Excellent. Um, let's take a moment, say who you are, where to find you, what's coming up in your, in your life, in the streams, in the internet, and all that stuff. Start with Pixie. Hi, I'm Torn Pixie. You can find me on Twitter at Torn Pixie Twitch and on Twitch at Torn Pixie. Well, I do a lot of D&D and accessibility and inclusion stuff. Cracking. Hey. Excellent. Val, you're up. Hi everybody, I'm Val, again the Nerdy Niffler on Twitter. Uh, you can find me basically here on Variant Roles because I kind of live here now. Uh, on t Sunday at 12 p.m. we have the finale of season one of Gothic Brunch. And then at 6 p.m. we have Monster Hearts where all of us are a mess and it's just school monster prom chaos. And... Then again, here, 
for another episode of all of this, which is going so well. We're doing great. It's going to be fine. Nothing's going to go wrong. At sure, all. sure, sure, sure. It's just the fame. It's all good. It's all fine. Uh, and Jen. Hi. Hello. I'm Jen. I'm randomly Jen, J E W N, on the Twitter and uh, randomly generated most other places, also with a J E W N. I am an affiliate on the Twitch machine. I stream four days a week, a variety of games. It would be great if you came and hung out. Uh, but yeah, that, that me. Oh, good. Cracking. Uh, and I'm Tim, uh, at Adam Off on all the social interwebs. Uh, you can find me here on Fridays, DMing this game, which is awesome. Uh, you can also find me on Mondays, uh, playing through Hellbind 7, but not this Monday, because we're having a week off, uh, where I play Don, who we just had a one shot this week, just gone about what Don did before the current campaign, which is fine. I didn't realize I was going to do that. It's good. So good. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, up next on Variant Rolls in like the next uh, 40, uh, 30, 30, 33 odd minutes uh, is a Dresden Fires game, um, which I can't remember the title of for the life of me. Uh, but it's no, it's Dresden Files. And I've it's, been really. It's the Dresden it? Files Portland. Dresden Files Portland. Excellent. I was going to so, apply to that, but I haven't, watched, I haven't read the books yet. So. I mean, I was reading through the Dresden Files books and I'm just like, damn, that's a good RPG. So yeah, if you want to check out Dresden Files Portland to support them, stick around and be on in about 32 minutes-ish, kind of. So yeah, with that. Oh yeah, I'm going to, and I think Dan says, uh, we're, I think Dan says we're raiding, going to go raid uh, Dice Priori, I think. Oh, yeah. Thank so, you yeah. again to Jesse as well. Who Thank you, Jesse, so Jesse. much. Thank Thanks, you so Tim, much. for running it. Thank you for ah. running this this wonderful show of <laughs> DMing. We've got 11 weeks left. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, try not to get hit by a car again. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I did. Yeah. I nearly got hit by a car yesterday. It's fine. I'm just very injured. It's, it's all good. So <laughs> it's all good. Right. So let's. Are we raiding? Raiding. I don't know. Are we raiding? Are we raiding? Yes. We are raiding. Ha ha ha. Right. So hang around for Dresden Files and see you on Dress Priority and see you next week. Bye. 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 Smile.